There are so many magical experiences to be had at Walt Disney World, but at the time of filming there are several things that I wish that they would change or modify to make the experience even more magical. So in today's video, I'm going over the seven things that I wish Disney would do a little bit differently. Number seven, better Wi-Fi for guests. Smartphone integration is becoming more and more a part of the Walt Disney World experience every single day. We can see this through the Play Disney Parks app, and even at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is not open at the time of filming, we know that we're going to be able to translate different letters and characters on the walls and even change things around the environment using our smartphones. On top of that, many of us use our smartphones to book all of our fast pass reservations, change dining reservations, and even go shopping at Walt Disney World. The need for better Wi-Fi at Disney is definitely clear, but will we see Disney make this change anytime soon? If I had to guess, I would say yes. The reason for that is because Disney will no doubt see more money from better Wi-Fi, whether that means more dining reservations or even going shopping at Walt Disney World. Maybe you couldn't find something at Mouse Gear, but it's available online. You can just one click, buy it, Disney makes more money, and they didn't lose a possible sale. The big question is when will Disney update their Wi-Fi? If I had to guess, they're probably already working on it right this moment, but it'll more than likely be updated by the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom. Number six, I would really like to see steeper discounts and special offers from Walt Disney World during the slower season. It's true that the slow season at Walt Disney World isn't what it once was, but that being said, I know that Disney does not fill up all of the rooms to capacity every single day, and having more discounts might bring more money for them and would save on our wallets as well. It's just a thought, I'd love to see that. Number five, and you probably saw this one coming, more parades. In the past, Walt Disney World has had parades at all of the different parks. That's not the case anymore, and I would love to see them go back to that strategy. Of course, I am referring to the nighttime parade at the Magic Kingdom, which I know Disney is already working on. Hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later. But at the other parks as well, I'd love to see another parade through Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom. In my opinion, you can never have enough parades. Next up, I would love to see Disney sell the annual pass holder magnets to annual pass holders who can not make it during that time of year. Now I know the strategy behind the annual pass holder magnet is to encourage pass holders to come to Walt Disney World, enjoy it, spend money, and also get this free annual pass holder magnet. It's a really cool incentive, I appreciate it, but I know a lot of annual pass holders who cannot make it to the parks every single time there's a new magnet, but still want the entire collection. Maybe they could sell them or give them away if they have extras after the event is over. I don't know, but some way to give them to all annual pass holders would really be great, in my opinion. In reality, do I think Disney's ever going to send out annual pass holder magnets? Unfortunately not. The reason is, it is a very good incentive for annual pass holders to come back to Walt Disney World, enjoy the parks, and spend more money. Number three is an idea that I thought of not too long ago, less alcohol for those who need a little bit of help to make sure they don't have too much. Alcohol at Walt Disney World is definitely a hot button topic. Some guests feel like there's not enough, others feel like there should be none at the parks. I feel it comes down to the individual who is partaking. For the vast majority of those who enjoy a drink at Walt Disney World, it is not an issue whatsoever. You understand yourself, you know what's appropriate, what you can handle, absolutely. And it's no problem. For, for you, that is not a problem. But every so often, there is a guest who does not understand themselves that well and may need a little bit of help to make sure that they do not take it over the edge and disturb other guests' magical experiences. Let's take a hypothetical situation. Let's say it's the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival and 99.9% .9 of guests do not have a problem and are totally in control and are adults with their drinking. Absolutely, I think it's a great thing, not an issue at all. But let's say you have an individual who does drink just a little bit too much, doesn't know themselves quite enough, and starts to become a disturbance to others. Security comes over, they say, you know what, we're going to have to ask you to leave for the remainder of the day. And when they do that, in my hypothetical situation, they scan your magic band. They just scan it and they say, this is a warning, so, you know, warning number one of three, three strikes for an idea. And then they leave the park for the day, do something else, the next day they come back. Let's say it happens again. Any other time, you know, in the future, it happens a second time. They scan it again and they say, you know what, we're going to have to ask you not to do this again. If it happens another time, there are going to be consequences. So maybe it's a, maybe for the end of the night and then maybe the next day you're not allowed back in the park, something like that again, scanning that magic band. 
The third time this happens, they scan the magic band, they ask them to leave, but the next time they go into the parks, the electronic system with the magic band is keeping track of how many drinks they've had. It's not a foolproof idea by any stretch of the imagination, but just imagine the system limits the number of drinks that you can have during any given period of time to make sure you're not a disturbance to any other guests around you during the day. Is that how you solve the problem? I don't know, it's just an idea, but I do think Disney does need to start getting a handle on this to make sure that guests are not disturbed during their vacation by someone's inappropriate behavior. Next up, for future Disney rides, I would love to see them have more guest capacity so the lines aren't nearly as long. We've seen Disney move in this direction in recent years, especially with Pandora, World of Avatar, and Flight of Passage. There are very large screens, sometimes you have to go up and down stairs to get to your seat for this experience, but I'd love to see even more of that in the future. So maybe the longest line at Walt Disney World is 45 minutes. Just an idea for the future. Last but certainly not least, tying into more guests per experience, I'd love to see more areas for guests to go to, i.e. a fifth gate. Now, do I believe that a fifth gate is coming to Walt Disney World? Yes, I do. Absolutely. The issue is when. If someone from Disney leadership told us that a fifth gate was coming in 10 years, I would believe them. The problem is, if they told me it was coming in 20 years, I would also believe them. Just because it takes them a tremendous amount of time to make these changes and then build the entire thing. They may have the entire thing in mind, but there's no construction and that would take several years to complete. So we're definitely a long way off from a fifth gate, but hopefully it's sooner rather than later. Those are my top seven things that I'd love to see Disney do differently or change in the future. Let me know which one of those is your favorite or if you have another one to add, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.